I'm uh, Benny Watts. I know. We met a couple of years ago in Cincinnati. Didn't meet, but we spoke. Cincinnati? You didn't play that year. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Take your word for it. To believe that what someone says is true. Another example. Margaret Neal. Well, Margaret Johnson now. <laughs> Fairfield High. <laughs> Margaret. Right, hi. Mike and I tied the knot right after graduation. Congratulations. Tie the knot. To get married. Informal. Another example. You haven't withdrawn symptoms. I don't know. What are those? Withdrawal. I don't know. You getting edgy? Here you are. To be or get edgy. To become nervous. Not calm. Another example. What was going on there? You just looked around your house and there weren't shorts? <laughs> Not the figures, man. I'm a writer. What are you doing? You're coming up on me. It's oh. a mania. It's me, Winston. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm just really edgy right now. All right, man. Working on this thing about Chicago, actually. The Greyhound bus only requires two hours for the trip. I took the liberty of calling. Take the liberty to do something without asking for permission to do it. Another example. <laughs> Harman. Go thou further off. Bid me farewell and let me hear thee going. What? Beat it. Beat it. Informal way of saying, go away. Leave. Another example. That sounds awesome. Can we all do it? No, Andy, it's a snowball fight. It's not fun. Go get your own thing. Beat it. Beat it. Just beat it. it. Takes time. You have to play Grandmasters to become one. How much time? Do you mind? Do you mind? A polite way of asking someone to do something or getting permission. A rhetorical question used to inform someone that they are being annoying. Examples. Today's my first lecture, and I kind of wanted to try it out on you guys. Do you, do you mind? <laughs> no, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well. You don't ever study? I analyze games. What actually happened, not what could have happened. And I play it by ear. Like Capablanca. Play by ear. To do something without special preparation. To decide how to deal with the situation as it develops, rather than acting according to plans made earlier. Another example. Are you going to help me or not? We'll go see Carlos tomorrow. I'll turn him around for you. Really? What are you going to say? Play by ear. I don't want to sound too over-rehearsed. All the idioms, expressions, and phrasal verbs explained on our channel. All the most useful and popular gathered in one place. Check out our PDF materials for comfortable study. Print versions available as well. Links in the description below. Harmon? Keep it up, kid. Keep it up means you're doing great. Continue the good work. Another example. Hey, Bri. Your department's killing it, baby. Hey, my <laughs> pleasure, my treasure. Keep it up. And I, um, got my teeth fixed. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So teeth. It was driving me crazy. Drive someone crazy. To make someone very angry or upset. Another example. Monica keeps changing the channel. Oh, that's great. Why don't you tell mommy on me? <laughs> now I'm mommy in the 
this little play? All right, look, I refuse to get sucked into this, like, weird little Geller dimension thing, okay? So I'm gonna go and take a nice, long, hot bubble bath because you kids are driving me crazy! I read about your game with Borgov. That must have felt terrible. I felt like a fool. I know that feeling. Helpless. It all goes and you just push wood. Push wood to play chess. Informal. This boy, Charles Levy, he was supposed to be the best. I had his pieces tied up in 15 moves. I made it in with six more with a knight rook combination. Chess piece. One of the figures used to play the game. King. The most important piece of the game. The aim of the game is to capture your opponent's king. Queen. The most powerful piece on the board. Rook. A powerful piece that can sweep the boat in one move, which is very useful at the end of the game. Bishop. A piece that can move only in a diagonal way, along squares of the same color. Knight. Knights are the only pieces that can jump over other pieces. Pawn. It can only move one space at a time, except for the first move. And it can't move backwards. Opening. The beginning phase of the game. Roughly the first dozen moves. Capturing. Refers to taking a piece from the board, so your opponent is a piece down. Castling. Castling involves the king and the rook, swapping positions. Touch move. Don't touch a piece unless you're going to move it. If you touch it, you have to move it somewhere. Okay. Fork. A simultaneous attack by a single piece on two or more of the opponent's pieces. Pin. When a piece is attacked but cannot legally move, because doing so would expose the player's own king, or queen. You resign now. Resign? That's right, child. When you lose the queen that way, you resign. To resign. To give up, by a formal act. To concede loss of the game. Check. An attack on the king. But unlike checkmate, this is one that your opponent can escape. Checkmate. An attack on the king, that your opponent can escape. A player whose king is checkmated, loses the game. Can I play it by ear? I'll take your word for it. I took the liberty of calling. What? Beat it. It was driving me crazy. I know that feeling. Helpless. It all goes and you just push wood.